Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday. Cue the music, right? CPI today. We got um, got some UK numbers claiming count um, in 43 minutes. So that's first to get out of the way. Uh, cable is bid, no doubt about it. Uh, sitting here, 122.80 right now. We'll see what these claimant count does. You would expect cable to be a little bit lower here with um, with Euro 105.52, dollar Swiss up at 60, I believe, or 50. Um, weird, uh, but uh, let's play it by year and see what these numbers say in 40 minutes. Let's go through the charts quickly. Not a lot to do this morning because we're all just waiting for um, waiting for CPI. Uh, keep in mind for those of you who are running cable um, into this afternoon, which looks um, incredibly risky. Uh, Bailey speaking, Bank of England's Bailey is also speaking noontime. Uh, in Switzerland, 11 a.m. in the UK. So keep your eye out for uh, Bailey. Let's go rates here. Um, you saw this. Um, <clears throat> we got down to 52, and then we got up to 62. This was the auction. Um, traded up to 363. Now we're hanging at 360. If you look at this in the bigger picture, uh, this should be dollar higher, but no one really knows what to do with this because of CPI today. So we had a few little trades last night. Fine, bang, bang, hit and run. Um, not a ton to do here until CPI, but rates are higher. Um, and so the dollar should be backed a little bit. Uh, so if, you, if you're forced to trade or you need to do a hedge today, uh, I would say protect uh, higher dollar is what I would say Aussie nothing going on uh, 68 80 68 15 still the range high um, range low 32 we're, we're right in the middle uh, I put the banana rama chat up uh, song up yesterday because this thing was doing my head and eventually we got paid in Eurocad but I don't know why this was so big, and it could have easily been flows again. We talked about flows, how it can affect dollar CAD uh, a couple weeks ago when there was a big merger going on, a uh, big asset sale going on in the banking industry, which forced dollar CAD higher. It felt like there was some big flow going on yesterday in this bar in particular. We had oil cruising higher, up you know 3%, and dollar CAD was at 136.80. Uh, made no sense to me. Uh, therefore, Bananarama got some got some playtime. Look at crude seventy four ten. Wow. Uh, dollar CAD should be lower, but again, a lot of books are square or clean going into CPI. So uh, weird shit can happen here. Euro middle of nowhere. Nothing to say there. Uh, Euro sterling at the fix yesterday got. This was the fix yesterday. These these are these five minute bars here. Ding 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 ding. Eighty nine, eighty five, ninety, eighty seventy. Down to eighty five, eighty six. And then back up to eighty five, ninety five. So there was some selling at the fix yesterday. Uh, again, I wasn't privy to what the hell was going on, but this thing came off. Here's the daily. We're now teasing basically this uh, 8560 level, which has been the big bull bear pivot that we couldn't, what we haven't been able to break. Um, could be a Bailey. Um, could be a, a, a news driven Bailey driven trade uh, you could actually probably break trade this 8560 entry if you're a big trend follower I don't know maybe a 30 pointer behind it if you're a little uh, skinny mini and you want to do a tight one it's it has to be news uh, because it's not quite clear what the exact point is 
this uh, day here, 40, 40 what? 47 was the low. So if you're if you're going to be conservative and you want to sell it through the low, low lows, 47. Uh, by the way, ring the bell. Uh, this is the 200-day moving average as well. Gee, we. 8645 haven't been below the 200 day moving average since 26 of August it's an interesting setup I don't know the exact point here I have to like drill down on this a little bit more but um, for whatever reason this thing looks like it's um, it's going left going south south of the border euro sterling is it going to be cable driven? It probably has to be. This again doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Um, cable hire doesn't make a ton of sense to me, considering the fact that uh, price of heating has gone holy baluli in the UK. Uh, we have these massive strikes this week, and I know the numbers were good yesterday, but anecdotally, um, and if we want to use recency bias, uh, which it probably may or may not be a good thing to use, but feels like this should be lower. Again, you just got to wait for CPI. I don't care what it feels like. Um, we're here to make money, not to feel things up. And uh, you just have to wait. Dollar yen, same thing. You just got to wait. I mean, we're at this big pivoty area. Um, Do we get up to 138.08? What? No. 137.97 was the high. Um, this bar here was 137.85. So we're, this is quite clear right now. 138 is your is your bull bear <coughs> pivot going into these numbers. If you see these rates cruise up to 370, um, dollar yen is going to run, um, run like the wind. Da -na -da -da -na -na. And I got such a long way to go to make it to the border of Mexico. Your Aussie little haywire here. I got you. Got to be real worried on mean reversion here, uh, just because volatility is too tight. So if this thing, if Euro uh, loses its mind higher, or Aussie loses its mind lower, Aussie could lose its mind lower if we get hawkish. So, you know, I like cable lower if it's hawkish, but Aussie's a good horse if, if it's hawkish. Because if it's hawkish, stocks are going to get crushed. Um, if rates scream higher, like what's your horse going to be? Okay, dollar yen is the pure, is the thoroughbred. <coughs> um, dollar yen is Seattle Slough. Those of you who um, are old and horse guys know who that is, or Pleasant Colony. Um... I think Pleasant Colony won the Preakness or the Belmont in 84. Someone's going to Google that. But uh, if it's hawkish, Aussie lower could be your horse. Euro Aussie higher could happen. Um, but my point is this. We're not trading Euro Aussie, but we're also not going to mean revert this thing uh, right now because the vol's too too low. Aussie yen, not much to do. Eurocad, we're short. Um, we sold this fucker up at uh, 144.28. We wore this thing. Uh, what was the high? 60. Ugh, 61. So, yeah, we wore this for about 33 points. Um, but we got the bar that we wanted. This is a nice turn bar. Oil's at 74.10. Eurocad should uh, screw the pooch. Um, so we're going to sit short Eurocad. Swiss yen, middle of nowhere. Euro yen, middle of nowhere. A little sticky Swissy. Um, just wouldn't go down yesterday. Euro's up at 80 and dollar Swiss just couldn't make a new low at all. And You know, if it's hawkish and you're boring and you like low drama, dollar Swiss is your horse. Dollar Swiss is more of a Shetland pony, um, but it will go up if it's hawkish. So check your rates. I would say you see rates above 365. Go ahead, take a bite out of this apple. Um, if you're a pussy, if you're not trading dollar yen.
It's okay to be a pussy. It's fine. Everyone likes pussy. This looks like a break trade here. Um, CAD yen. Oil's higher. This should go higher, CAD yen. But this is really a function of dollar CAD's going to have to carry the weight. Or I guess dollar yen could carry it if it's super hawkish. Um, man. One, no, we were looking at 10042 yesterday. But anyway, we got Vero CAD, it's fine. Um, CAD Swiss, same as Euro CAD. You should be uh, long, but you can see it's not it's not as pretty as the as the Euro CAD chart. But uh, this is lower of all Euro CAD. Kiwi. Again. <coughs> Just wait, right? If this is super dovish, stocks higher. Aussie and Kiwi are going to go higher. If it's super hawkish, um, stocks will get crushed. Dollar will go higher. Both of these will get crushed. It's pretty binary. Um, and then Euro Norway. We left a little tweet yesterday hoping some of our viewers sold this shit. I didn't sell it. It didn't get up to 1060. I haven't been trading much Euro Norway, but. That was a nice sale, and this thing also looks like she wants to go lower. And if you want to trade something, um, and you don't want to be dollar-based, uh, and you can see that's what Privateer is doing with his Euro EuroCAD, this could be an interesting horse trying to get yourself short at a nice average. Uh, let's check Dollar Max. Also, I was curious as what the hell is going on in Dollar Max. Um, I'll have to check uh, the DM, see if anyone answered that. Dollar Max broke out yesterday with oil up like 6% or whatever. That was weird. Um, someone call uh, call the cartels, see what the hell's going on. Anyway, I'm saying a lot, but uh, there's not much to say here, mainly because we have to wait for CPI. So hold on to your hats. If you're short EuroCAD, you sit. If you're short Euro Norway, you can sit. Otherwise, um, there will be some sterling numbers in 30 minutes. Bailey at 12, but the real meat of the day, 2.30 Swiss time for US CPI. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough. You deserve it.